Now I'm going to go back to Marvelous Designer and clear the avatar also file new and let's bring the new avatar which is this one let's go centimeter and everything else is fine okay now I'll be using this newly created mesh for a base for the pillows to react with so I'm going to create uh, two squares let's copy paste this one okay let's go again under environment gizmo and local mode and bring this one up just like so and this one need to be inverted or flipped okay now let's go to sew tool and sew some of these now I'm gonna select my edit seams and fix some of those in fact let's remove them so I'm gonna select all of my seams and hit delete now make sure that this one is sewed with this one and in the opposite direction so don't worry about this one since again one of these is flipped probably I'm getting this uh, crossed line but that should be fine next I'm gonna create this one and this one's probably go here no so this one's go here and that's flipped all right and this one goes to here great now I'm gonna select both of these and make sure that they have pressure turned on so let's set this one to 1 and hit enter now with both of these selected let me bring them here on top of my object and bring those up and hit a space now I select my object in fact both of these and set the pressure to be 15 and bring down the distance between the edges and hit a space so this is the effect that I'm Getting. in fact um, as I can see here I have imported those objects in a very wrong scale so that means that all of these objects are reacting in a way that they should not I mean each of these squares are I guess one millimeter or probably ten millimeter long so um, between my conversions in marvelous designer and mesh lab I guess I have messed up the scale so what I'm gonna do is bring back the object this time in a proper scale so I'm gonna disable the simulation and go find new and also avatar clear the avatar and I'll bring those back I brought in my object again but this time in proper scale you can see that this time is almost 10 times bigger so I did the same thing I brought uh, or rather created two rectangles and sewed those together but this time you can see that I have changed the direction of one of those patterns in fact you could do, do that by flipping one of those 
so it will fix the issue of sewing now with those settings uh, let's select those and add pressure let's go for 5 or let's go 15 and hit enter or a space now you can see that this one is reacting much more properly because uh, it's been done in proper scale well I guess this one is great so what I can do is bring down the density to let's say 5 I'll pause a couple of seconds and let it go okay so this should be fine now I'm gonna hit a space again so let's say that I want this one and everything's fine so I'm gonna select these two and first let's control C control V copy them here and select these two right click and deactivate then I'm gonna select these two bring them up in here uh, set the particle distance to 20 for faster playback and hit the space okay what I did wrong is these two should not be deactivated so let's activate those and instead select them and go freeze great now again I'm gonna select these two bring them up and press the space still if you want the simulation to be faster what you can do is select that one that uh, we were happy about and export it with the particle distance being 5 or even lower then I can set the particle distance to 20 and now hit the space so the simulation of this one is faster okay apparently this one is not going to have enough room for the second pillow so I'm gonna first remove these select them and press delete and select these two unfreeze these and hit the space make sure that both of these are using a particle distance of 20 then select it and try to place it somewhere so I can have enough room for the other pillow so this should be fine now I'm gonna select these two let's go freeze and control C control V to duplicate this one here unfreeze this one bring it here and let's rotate this one and hit the space okay so this one is much more acceptable so and the last thing that I want to do is to select these two and bring down their particle distance and let it go for a couple of frames then you could delete this one and select these two bring down the particle distance to 5 or even lower and let it go for a couple of frames then export both of those out and again the export setting is not going to be different from what we did in previous part uh, that's going to be uh, you, you could select 
any of those patterns that you want and make sure that they are not being welded so I'll be selecting on weld single object and thin unified UV W or UV coordinates and this one's going to be centimeter and hit OK again you want to bring down the particle distance now in max I'm going to go under uh, import and import non-native files select my exported objects and import those okay now you can see that they are all uh, one object so I'm gonna select this one and let's detach this one go detach then I'm gonna select it and alt Q to isolate this one again I did not use um, the lower particle distance since it was going to take a lot of time even though I'm gonna be using for the final scene but here I'm going to show you how to weld those seams so you could select uh, select my border and with those two borders selected I'm gonna control click the vertex mode and then you could build all of those vertices if you want so that's um, the way you should do that and I could uh, still have my uh, edges selected and you could go create a shape from selected and then we have the shape if you want you could add this one to be enabled in viewport and rendering so yeah that's that's the way you could add a visible seam all around your object and again you do not have to use any of these what you could do also is to disable any of the rendering modes and create a custom shape or whatever you want and then loft it around the object but um, one thing to keep in mind is that you have to do all of these before decimating your object since when you decimate your object it's going to be missing your border so you will not be able to have this pretty seam here so what I usually do is to have my a spline created here then I'll export this one and decimate this one if I want then bring it back and the spline will pretty much match the shape that we have in here so you don't have to be worried about the outer shape or the silhouette of your object you could do the same thing for all of the other objects that you export from Marvelous Designer so this is it for this part of the tutorial and in the next part we'll continue modeling the rest of the objects.